Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Now, in past two videos, we have studied a basic knowledge or basic things about inverse laplace transform or roc is inverse laplace transform now we will use the same concept same thing to find out inverse laplace transform of next coming numericals so first of all we'll study a problem number three now a problem number three Find the inverse Laplace transform of function x of s is given minus 3 upon s plus 2 and s minus 1. But if the ROC is minus 2, real part of s is exit between minus 2 and plus 1, which means this is our two-sided ROC. Now here, the third, second case, real part of s is greater than 1, which means we have right-handed side ROC or a causal ROC. And in third case, here we have real part of s is less than minus 2, means what? Here we have left handed sided ROC or non-causal or anti-causal ROC. Now, but before moving to inverse Laplace transform by using ROC, first of all, we will find out the values of all the factors. Now look at it. Here we have a two poles, which means we will choose a two variables. Let's say A and B. And this is nothing but my equation number one. Now simply cross multiply or you can say that multiply this denominator on the right hand side. What you will get? S plus 2, S plus 2 will get cancelled. A is multiplied by S minus 1. Here also S minus 1, S minus 1 will get cancelled. B is multiplied with S plus 2. And this is nothing but my equation number two. Now, what is the next step? To find out variable value A and B, first of all, we have to equate this denominator equal to 0 so that you will get the s value which is useful to find out variable a. So s plus 2 equal to 0 so you will get s equals to minus 2. So put s equals to minus 2 in equation number 2. What you will get? If I substitute s equals to minus 2 then this minus 2 plus 2 becomes 0 so whole product becomes 0. So what we have? We have only these two parts. Now, as this minus 2 is placed over here, so minus 2 minus 1 gives us a minus 3. So, we have minus 3 equal to minus 3a. Now, just shift this minus 3 on the left hand side. We can say that minus 3 minus 3 will get cancelled. Our a value will be now only 1. Similarly, we will find out a value of b. So, equate this s minus 1 equal to 0. So, what you will get s equals to plus 1. So, substitute s equals to plus 1 in equation number 2. What you will get? If I substitute s by plus 1, then look at here. This s is replaced by plus 1. Plus 1 minus 1 will become 0. So, a into 0 is 0. So, no a term will be there. Now, here, if I replace this s by plus 1, then what you will get? 1 plus 2 will give us a 3 and that 3 is multiplied by with b. So we have minus 3 equal to 3b. And if I shift this 3 on the left hand side, what you will get? 3, 3 will get cancelled. Answer of b is minus 1. So I will substitute a and b value in my equation number 1. After substituting values of a and b in equation number 1, what we have got? A value was 1 whereas B value was minus 1. That's why I have changed this sign. And in the denominator of A, we have S plus 2. So, A was 1 and B was minus 1. Now, I will mark this is my equation number 3. And now, I will find out inverse Laplace transform of X of S but based on the ROCs. My first ROC was minus 2 less than equal to real part of S is less than 1. Now, I will apply inverse Laplace transform on equation number 3 but on the basis of ROC. Where is my ROC is exist between minus 2 to 1. So first of all I will place pole values. Minus 2 is on left hand side of S plane whereas 1 is on right hand side of S plane. Now according to this ROC what is mentioned the ROC is exist between minus 2 and 1. But look at here. Here the ROC is greater than minus 2 which means for pole minus 2 the ROC is right handed sided signal. For 
minus 2 pole, the ROC is right handed sided, which means your ROC is on here. While explaining properties, I have already told you, ROC is always marked by parallel lines. Now, in this part, here the real part is less than 1, which means for pole 1, ROC is exist on the left hand side. So, I will mark parallel lines. What you will get from this graph? You can say that the ROC is a two-sided ROC. Now, we will find out inverse Laplace transform on this ROC, on the basis of this ROC. Now, we will apply inverse Laplace transform on the basis of this ROC. So, applying inverse Laplace transform on equation number 3. This is our equation number 3. So, what you will get? The inverse Laplace transform x of s is x of t. But now, look at here. This is our minus 2 pole. And this minus 2 pole gives us a right handed sided ROC. Which means, here we are going to multiply a time shifting value by unit step. But first of all, a frequency shifting value. The frequency shifting value is plus 2 which means exponential function in exponential function this t is multiplied by the opposite value which is minus 2 and as the what is remaining 1 by s as the function is right handed sided so 1 by s is replaced by unit step because the inverse of 1 by s is unit step u of t is there now minus what we have minus 1 so e to the power minus 1 is multiplied but opposite sign of minus 1 is 1 and that will be multiplied with a t. So, we have 1 into 2 is t. But this pole produces ROC which is a left hand sided. Now, for this pole, the ROC was left hand sided. But for left handed sided ROC, unit step is replaced by minus u of minus t. So, this minus sign will become plus and this unit step is now u of minus t. This is the ROC of first that is a two sided. Now, we will move on to right hand sided ROC and left handed sided ROC one by one. Here the second ROC is real part of S is greater than 1. According to properties if the function is producing a right handed sided ROC then the ROC is always marked on the right hand side of rightmost pole. Here the rightmost pole is 1. So your ROC is exist on right hand side of our rightmost pole. So rightmost pole ROC is on right hand side. So I will mark the parallel lines on the right hand side of 1. Now, I will apply inverse Laplace transform on the basis of this ROC. What you will get? x of s inverse Laplace is x of t. Now, ROC is right handed sided which means ROC for all the pole is also a right handed sided. So, what is important? All the unit step will be same as it is which means I am not going to replace unit step value. It will be a U of T only. So, first of all frequency shifting property we have to use in first pole. So, e to the power t is multiplied by opposite value of plus 2 which is minus 2 and then we will multiply it by unit step only because the ROC is right handed sided. In same case of S minus 1 minus of the here we have minus 1 because frequency shifted by minus 1. So, e to the power t is multiplied by plus 1, 1 into t is only t and here we have only unit step and this is the ROC for a right handed signal. Now, we will move on to a last one a left handed signal where all the unit step will be replaced by minus u of minus t and maybe you can see that here the sign will be changed. Now, the third and last ROC. Here the real part of S is less than minus 2, which means our ROC is available on left hand side of leftmost pole because this ROC is a left handed ROC. Now, so according to property, if the function is a left hand sided ROC, if function produces a left hand sided ROC, then 
ROC is available on left hand side of left most pole and here left most pole is minus 2. So here the ROC is also available on left hand side of left most pole. Now I will mark the parallel lines to show the ROC. So all the poles will follow the same ROC which means all the units have replaced by minus u of minus t. Now what is next? Applying inverse Laplace transformation equation number 3. What we'll get? X of s is represented by x of t. Now, here we have s plus 2. So, according to frequency shifting property, this t is multiplied by opposite value, which is a minus 2. And 1 by s is nothing but unit step, but this ROC is left handed sided. So, we'll multiply it by minus u of minus t. Now, next one is minus sign. Here, we have again frequency shifted then we have to multiply this t by opposite value of minus 1 which is plus 1 so plus 1 into t is plus t and then what is remaining 1 by s and 1 by s is nothing but unit step but here the ROC is left handed sided so unit step is replaced by minus u of minus t so by because of minus sign of u of t this sign will be changed to plus and we write u of minus t if you want then you can take u of t my common but it is not that much necessary so that's all for now We'll study a new numerical in next video. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.